Hey, how are you? Welcome to The Coding Zoo. If this is your first time joining, my name is Shane. Uh, this is The Coding Zoo. We usually do videos on programming, different programming languages. Uh, our goal at Coding Zoo is to help others learn how to program. I'm a self-taught engineer of 20 years and I love teaching others. In today's lesson, we're, we're not going to have a coding lesson, but we're going to go over a set of books that I highly recommend for JavaScript programming. If you are an up-and-coming JavaScript programmer, web technologist, um, a web programmer, then I definitely recommend that you, ha if you haven't read these books, to stick around, check them out, and definitely give them a shot. They are well worth it. Let's go ahead and jump right in. Okay, let's go ahead and jump in. I have a set of books here. It's actually a complete set. It's not like different um, different books on JavaScript, but there are one, two, three, six books in this set. You've probably heard of it, but I just if you haven't, hey, uh, it, it should give you an idea of what's in the set. Uh, and I, I definitely highly recommend it. So why do why do I recommend this set of JavaScript books? Um, I, I believe these books go over the core of JavaScript. You know, you can learn different JavaScript frameworks. You can learn um, React.js, you can learn Angular, you can learn um, jQuery, although I'm not sure you'd want to learn that these days. But you can learn all types of JavaScript frameworks, but before you jump into that, you really should know the core of your language. This set of books goes over the core. So the set of books is called You Don't Know JavaScript. <laughs> So it's called You Don't Know JavaScript. It's an in-depth study of core JavaScript. First book, let's go over it. So the first book is called Up and Going. And this book goes over some of the basics. It goes over types, it goes over values, it goes over the building block, it goes over operators in JavaScript. So this is like your just getting started book, Up and Going. Um, so if you're starting from scratch, start here in this book set. So the second book in the series is called Scopes and Closures. Now, Scopes and Closures goes over hoisting, it goes over the scope of your variables, where you put them, uh, it goes over to how to hide those variables, kind of provide some extraction so they're not uh, easily, you know, easily uh, manipulated outside of where they should be manipulated. Um, it's a really good book. Um, this is probably one of the ones a lot of uh, new JavaScript engineers mess up at. I think they don't really understand uh, the different scopes, uh, the different, um, they don't really understand the different scopes that a variable can fit in. So uh, second book, scopes and closures, definitely worth a good read. So keep in mind, these books are somewhat thin. Actually, the majority of, the majority of them are this thin. But uh, let me tell you, it's all meat. There's no fluff here. These books are all meat. So if you want to get right down to the details, learning stuff deep, these are the books for you. Okay, the next book in the series is called uh, This and Object Prototypes. This and Object Prototypes. This book will go over the um, keyword this an object now if you're familiar with languages like javas perhaps uh, c sharp other languages this the keyword this and javascript is nowhere near being the same as this and the other languages this also goes over how objects are created in javascript it goes over the prototype pattern it goes over how to design classes and it helps you to understand how objects are linked together and other objects um, it's a very good read. If you don't understand how objects work in JavaScript, must read. So the next book in the series is Types and Gammer. Grammar? <laughs> the next book in the series is Types and Grammar. Uh, <laughs> I got tongue twied on grammar. Called it Gammer. It's not grammar, it's grammar. Okay, so the next book in the series is Types and Grammar. This book goes over uh, JavaScript, uh, the, the data types. It goes over um, arrays, 
goes over number characteristics. You also learn um, how natives provide object raptors around their primitives. You also dive into coercion, uh, and you also will go into uh, expressions and other features, the nuances in the JavaScript syntax. These are all core features of JavaScript. It's great to understand those little nuances to un understand it inside and out. Now, I know you may think, well, I, I don't need that. I've already done that. I understand all that. Well, do you? I mean, are you sure you do? Do you, do you understand it deeply? Do you understand the nuances and what to watch out for when you run into them? Uh, I think you'll find a lot, of, a lot of engineers, a lot of programmers, they don't. They don't learn. They don't learn the deep. They don't learn the language deep. They learn it broad. Sometimes it's really, uh, really good. I don't think sometimes. I think most of the time. It's really good to learn whatever language you're, you're working in deeply. You need to understand what you're doing um, and not just following every, every pattern that's thrown your way. So the next book is a good one. Uh, I highly recommend it. I'm actually probably gonna reread it here soon in the future. It covers asynchronous uh, features of JavaScript and JavaScript performance. So this book is called async and performance. Now in this book, you're going to go over asynchronous programming in JavaScript. Um, you're going to go over callback hell. You're going to go over uh, using JavaScript promises to fix inversion of control. You're going to go over using generators to express async flows. It'll also cover items such as web workers, SIMD, and ASM.js. So in this book, you'll learn valuable resources and techniques for benchmarking and tuning your expressions and statements. Again, async and performance JS. All right, last but not least, the next book is ES6 and Beyond. Now in this book, you're gonna learn the new ES6 features. You're gonna organize codes with iterators, generators, modules, and classes. There's also async flow control, uh, uh, with promises and generators combined, there's using collections to work more efficiently. You're going, to, you're going to leverage new APIs. You will also learn how to extend your program's capabilities through metaprogramming. Uh, this, uh, and this was written probably before all the features in the ES6 came out. Uh, so not everything may be there, but it's really a good read. It's a great start. Um, I think I probably said that all of these books are a good read. Well, you know, all of these books are a good read. Uh, if you're going to be a JavaScript programmer, man, if you haven't read these books, even if you think you, you've got everything down, I, I challenge you to go, go back and, and read them. Uh, it, it, you, you'll truly realize how much you've forgotten if you, or find out that you really didn't learn a few things up front. Um, I've probably gone through them once or twice since I jumped into JavaScript from Java a few years back. I probably will go through them again here in the near future, especially the asynchronous um, pieces that I haven't used as much. So really great read, JavaScript Web Programmer. If you haven't read it, what's the hold up? You should definitely, definitely read these, check them out. You know, I don't think you have to buy the host set, although you can, you can buy them one book at a time. I'll put links below uh, in the comments um, to each book so you can check them out on Amazon. So I hope this was helpful for you. Uh, these are definitely a good set of books to read. Uh, a lot of the information I've mentioned about them, you can find online in their descriptions. Uh, I, I'm basically uh, just kind of giving you an idea from just reading the descriptions on the back. Uh, it's not like I'm uh, coming up with this verbiage all on my own. Um, <laughs> so, but, but besides that though, uh, it doesn't matter. These, these books are awesome. Uh, I've really highly enjoyed reading them. If you don't understand the language you're programming in, it's core, you don't understand it deeply, and you're going to be programming in that language for a while, then you need to learn it. You need to learn those deep core items, uh, not just a broad, high-level view of what you're programming in. So I always recommend that. Hey, if you like this video, click like. If you haven't described yet, we're going to have more videos like this, but also more videos on programming. If you enjoyed it, go ahead and click subscribe. We really appreciate that. It helps us out a lot. Uh, if you have any input on what books you like, hey, let us know below. What are some good books for other people like yourself to read? Uh, leave a comment below. We'd love to hear about that. So I wanted to thank you for joining today. I hope you have a great week. Keep safe. Uh, keep learning. Don't give up. Uh, it takes time, but if you're new to programming and you're starting to learn, you can do it. 
don't give up. I uh, it took me a while. I, I learned on my own. It took several years to finally get a job at it, uh, but it is very doable and it's a great career to be in. It's creative. You're always learning. It's fun. So again, hey, thanks for joining. I hope you have a great week.